Hello, and thank you for coming to my lightning talk. Um, one of the interesting uh, things that I learned uh, at Adjust was that uh, the way in which we work together can make a big difference in terms of the stress that we face when something goes dramatically wrong. Now, many of us have heard of Google's SRE framework, and I'd like to talk about something that I think is an absolutely great uh, complement to that framework, which is crew resource management. Now, crew resource management is a, a really interesting field. Uh, I'm not going to go through too much of what's uh, on the slide, except I want to highlight something that's not on it, which is that um, crew resource management is as much um, a skill and technique-based training as it is an organizational commitment towards uh, trying to make sure that we communicate and work together in uh, an appropriate way. And it's also something which is built very much on cognitive psychology in order to try to understand how we make mistakes in order to um, make sure that we set things up so that where we have decision points in our run books and things like this, we can set things up in a way that makes a human error less likely. So uh, this is very much a set of, pro uh, set of tools and ideas and a framework for understanding human error. It's not very uh, much of a set of formal processes, although you can build some formal processes around them. Um, crew resource management is a fairly vast subject. It's now been implemented in a large number of uh, fields, including medicine and um, uh, you know, nuclear power plant, uh, sorry, nuclear power plant management. Um, it consists of a whole bunch of subfields, but I want to stress one of them in particular, and that is workload management. When we talk about workload management, most of us think about what's going on from one month to the next and how much we have to do within the next month. Uh, this is sort of an extension of that, but it's tied down to, say, the next second or next minute. Um, and the idea is that if we have to keep more things in our brain and we have to pay attention to more things um, at the moment when something goes wrong, then we are more likely to make mistakes. So uh, focusing on workload management in terms of how we write our run books to try to reduce the workload when something goes wrong is really important. Automation, obviously, is part of that, but so is, um, so is making sure that we don't have to um, scroll uh, in order to figure out what the next step is. So um, that's an important one. Um, also, there's a lot that goes into decision making and problem solving. That's another really big uh, field, but I don't have time to go into that right now. Um, as I mentioned before, SRE and CRM frameworks are quite complement uh, complementary. Um, SREs. Uh, SRE as a framework um, focuses very much on the engineering that's required to um, have uh, reliable services that are still under development and may in fact, you know, have outages for human factors and mechanic and um, sorry environmental factors. While CRM is very much about those human factors and how do we come together when something's right or something's wrong and um, really operate with each other to the, to the best of our ability in terms of technical and intellectually demanding work. So there's certainly overlap. Um, I listed three items here, risk management, postmortems, and safety risk culture. Um, these are things where uh, the SRE contributions to the field um, can give you an outline on how to get started, but the CRM frameworks can give you a richer framework in terms of, of uh, what to focus on to uh, better um, optimize your safety risk culture, um, create better postmortems, and uh, ultimately um, create the sorts of services that, that your customers uh, value. Thanks.